Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your studio Lords Hindu Demand. Now, I think I was planning on heading over here this time. Get some knowledge out of these people. Seems like the plan. Okay, and this is it is a door. It is in fact a door, but it doesn't seem to give me the option to open it, which is all right, I suppose. But oh, this is the alternative entrance, or all oh, right, this is all the way back to the garden again. Where did you come in from? This is back to the garden again, right? Oh, but it's from a different angle. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So this would have been like... Oh, this is the marketplace even. Okay, so I could have just come, gone around like all this way instead. That's fine. Ah, one of you is the Arbiter. Talk to me, Arbiter. Apparently, I can't talk to you when I'm behind you because otherwise, I'll give you the spooks. Pathfinder, you couldn't like the you spooks. Your arrival raised concerns from his people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again, which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Okay. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. It's defined by the first founders of Aya, this world, and all who live on it agreed to abide by the laws, customs, and regulations. That's a lot of them. Okay. Let's go say hi to the Kavanaugh. That's a nice chair you have there. Personal meeting notes for of Governor Baran Shai. We wants to open Southern Valley region to the open. We've called to provide refugees with permanent holes. K believes we are already at risk of overcrowding and harming local ecosystem. Votes to use land strictly for food production. M proposes compromise solution to construct orbital habitats using Nexus technology. Refugees would rotate in between Aya's surface and orbital habitats using lottery system. E disagrees with accepting initiative help and especially tech points out the black hole will make orbital construction projects difficult and may attract notice of get patrols final vote delayed to novo pow we need a better home to our for our people world is fallen have our remains unstable and i is too small to support all of us is kadara port an option to be even there the attempt reconciliation okay, so that's a planet i have to go to For various reasons. The Lo Shai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing, but you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that, you didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. None of us will be safe until we stop the cat for good. I've learned to enjoy small victories when they come. What can I do for you? So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. That's fair. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, 
The noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains, then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no. That isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control, just often enough to maintain my own. I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Ket alone. And neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place. If only for a short time. I heard about that. For a new person to live on Aya, someone here has to leave. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything. And we'll do anything to protect her. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Ishare? I'm gonna say that's like... Farewell. Have a good time. Live well. Oh, right. I can't jump right now. But now what I want to do... is I want to find all these terminals... And download the citizen messages. Subject letter B Unity. Before the scourge and Garam and Mar people, it took centuries after that disaster to find each other again. And but then we'd be divided too long. That's how the cats were able to conquer us. The wave forced us back together, but now you have upset the balance. Some don't trust you, others want you to save us. Divisions are forming if you're really here to help keep our people united. Pavoa and Disharay to you all. I'm writing this in my final days, I've lived a long life that now comes to its natural end. I've known great loss and pain, but also joy and hope. I think we have that in common. My fate is to leave at a turning point in history. 
Part of me is angry, I won't see what happens next, but I made my peace. Whatever becomes of your people, mine and the cat will re reverberate into the lives of my great-grandchildren. And that gives me strange comfort. I know there's more to this life than war and hardship, and I've seen enough to know your people understand that too. Be well, take care of each other, change life for the better. Goodbye. Subject, we wish you peace and good fortune. Don't be deceived by the posturing of Efra the, the Shah and his resistance. We are not violent people, we are scientists, inventors, artists, caretakers and explorers. This is our home, but there is room enough for us all. We don't get the same thing, but they don't listen. We hope you do. Subject, no one will read this. This message will never be read by the Pathfinder, much less reach the Nexus. We're so desperate for allies against the Get that we're willing to make the same mistake with new aliens. This little stunt by the government won't change anything. We may as well be screaming into the wind. I'm gonna edit it slightly. We don't need to send the message about no one reading it. Of course, I might be wrong. Because I don't know what I edited. And the edit I may have done might have been a lot more significant than I myself believed it would be. Where's your message terminal? Is it downstairs? Suppose you have the message terminal here? No, of course not. That would be silly. It's probably not in the med bay either. So is it like outside their door? Oh, it's over there. Oh, no, I don't need a fast travel station. Thanks for offering that. Alright, holographic message terminal. Combined logs of assistance members messages uploaded in the Garan resistance headquarters for the Pathfinder's eyes only. Join our fight, you prove it you can fight uh, to get on board, the resistance doesn't depress easily, stand with us together, we will take this war to the enemy's home, we'll make them feel, in feel terror. Okay, we'll show them despair, we'll break the get and when that's done, we'll share the rewards of victory. Are you at war with each other? We've seen members of your species act with violence, greed and selfishness. We found your evidence of your people attacking and stealing from one another. Why do you hurt each other when only the get stand to gain? If our people are slow to trust you, it's because we can't understand why some of you seem determined to hurt others. You better get stand united in the cause, why don't you? We have much to learn. I've spent my life wondering what other beings might exist. Your people are nothing like what I imagined, and I'm glad for that. I thought I was long past being surprised in life. My sons and daughters throw pictures of you and ask all sorts of questions. They want to know everything about you. We hope you feel the same way. There's so much we can teach each other. I believe in our future. Help arrives when you least expect it and your arrival was unexpected. You came to Aya wounded and in need and we didn't welcome you. You went to our other worlds and helped our people become, overcome terrible challenges with no promise of reward or friendship. You wouldn't do that if there wasn't the goodness at your core. You want to understand and be understood. This is the start of a great alliance. Yeah, I can just send that out. Like there was one message there that was... Hmm... Maybe I should introduce myself. What? Who scanned me? Did you scan me? Hello? Hello oh, there. cursor, get out there. I'm working. I know. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my home world. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Danfre. Biological researcher. This is my home. Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? 
I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Understandable. Uh, can I talk to you more, or was it all? You have questions? Be quick. Uh, your agenda? Did you scan me on your own? Or did someone put you up to it? Paran? Ephra? I'm a scientist. I want to understand anything outside my knowledge and experience. All that information you collect is for personal use? Of course not. Angara share knowledge. It's how we survive. It can't have been easy, holding out by yourselves against the Ket. Before them, it was the Scourge. Our entire civilization was almost wiped out. Centuries of rebuilding. It says a lot that you've made it this far. We'll go much further. How do you stay busy when you're not scanning strangers from another galaxy? I research and develop organic tactical equalizers. That sounds... scary. Only to those who threaten ire. What else did your scan reveal about me? You're strong, tough. But much of Helios is inhospitable to human biology. You won't have it easy. Never have. How do humans stack up against your people in the Ket? You lack biological advantages, but your technology may offset that. Oh, thank you. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Go. <laughs> okay, so next up we need the market. And then the docs messages. And then I think we can head over to the vault. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm terribly sorry I keep sprinting into the same person. Oh, what's this? The resistance needs volunteers. To get have fed the power of the resistance. I think I've read this one already, right? Oh well. Oh, and this is the... Messages to the Nexus. Thank you! I remember the first time I met the Mosha. It was one of the greatest moments of my life. She has done so much for our people. When the rumors began that she'd been caught by the cat and was killed, I lost hope for her future. You restored it. I don't care what anyone says. I believe you came to save us. Go home. This is not your galaxy. You don't belong here. Anyone who thinks you're different from the get is a fool. I see you for what you are and there are many more like me. If you come in peace and friendship, Baba, if you're... Hearts are filled with deceit, you will die. That is all you need to know. My name is Yaka, my family said I could write to you. I've never met an alien before, but I'd like to meet you. I think we can be friends. Ah. Nice. So... Wait. Uh, this is once again the wrong way. This is how I get to the docks proper, right? Just past the memorial garden. Oh, there's another copy of the Resistance Need Volunteers. So I guess that's what that was. Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Doing your hops and stuff. Where's your terminal for the messages, please? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep running right into the faces of other people. It's not a deal, let me tell you. Is there a message terminal inside this room? No. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Messages to the Nexus. Why are you here? What impulse drove your people to cross dark space? What have you come for here for? Do you expect us to believe you're explorers who want to live in peace? I think you've had something terrible. I think it might follow you here. Uh, well, actually, the something terrible came after. 
Which one of your species actually controls this so-called initiative? Are you even different species or just genetic constructs customized to fill different roles? Why do you all walk on two legs like us? Is it so we'd accept you? What did you look like before you crossed Stark Space? <laughs> when I heard you were granted permission to land on Havar, I filed the complaint with Governor Shai. That world is one of our most sacred places that is not for outsiders. You need to get keep that distance because they know we'll fight to the death to protect it. Everyone who defiles Havar will face consequences. You build ships to travel across dark space, you show us how to make them and let us retrace your path. There are no get where you came from. We have a generation facing extinction, but you could help us go where the enemy won't follow. We've suffered enough, give us hope for a better life. Well, I don't think we can quite do that. Oh well. Let's get, uh, get moving. The vault debates. No, oh, this is this is not a combat situation. I haven't brought anyone here in over twenty years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people. And mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes. Wait, can I shut down the Meridian from here? You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Why is my cursor there again? I was expecting this to be... more involved than that. But that's fine too. That's absolutely okay. Okay. I need to talk to Ephra again. That's fine. Uh, I was told there were fast travel things around. So I'm gonna use this one. And we're just gonna go onwards to the resistance thingy. Oh. That's the one we can use. And mark the map with regardless because I accidentally clicked to the side of it. Which is not ideal, to be fair. Okay. Hey, at least the cursor cleared up. That's good. 
I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jarl know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech. But why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Oh no, Ephra's gonna get the ass kicking. I'm just gonna run away from that. And uh, let them handle that in privacy. Can I just head back to my ship with a single click? Click, 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 click. No. Okay. There is a new quest over here that I'm gonna go pick up. Because of course I'm gonna pick up a new quest. That's how games work. Hi. When you have Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but Nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Ooh, thank you. Okay. So, we are going to go back on our ship, we are going to probably spend a little bit of time there because this was a noticeable, uh, you know, quest point, so there's gonna be people who want to talk to me, and there's going to be people who I want to talk to. Maybe, maybe we can roam us better further, yes, yes. Yes. Good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. 
What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Okay. Good, sir. Uh, no calls available at this time. That's fair enough. Cursor, didn't I just get rid of you? I thought I did. I must have been wrong. Incubator is waiting for me here. Let's let's strip down our uh, our troops again. By which I mean debrief them. Accept. Debrief. Accept. I do like it when they succeed. Grizzled veteran. Nifty. And nice. Okay, so we have new loot to. Oh, whoa, yeah, claim all rewards. Thank you for that. And how much do we need for another team? That's gonna be 160. I just like getting more teams, sending sending more teams out, send them all out. 81% chance of success. Have fun. Eliminate our smuggler. Send the strike team. 86, 81, 74, 86 seems like the way to go. This is probably not something I can really send anyone on. So let's not risk it. 81%. How's this one? 74, 66. So this one was 81 for you. That's probably better than 66. Obtain dead drop data, 92% chance. Uh, what's based best? These both the same really okay have fun okay so that's that's it for this time thanks for watching I'll see you next time when we will do a little bit of shipping well ship time bye bye